Hi everyone, my name is Ron Leite and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we are going to be talking about macros inside Altrix Designer, specifically the standard macro, which is the easiest to do. Before we begin, I'll show you some options that we can configure inside Altrix to make using macros easier. Come here under Options, User Settings, Edit User Settings. Inside Canvas, enable Display Macros Indicators. This will add a little plus sign on the tool, so you know it's a macro or not. And inside macros, if you don't have a folder here, add a folder inside your computer and set it as a default. This will make authors know where to search your computer for macros. Click OK and then save. I have a macro saved that just for example, inside my default folder. And you can see here in my tool palette that I have a macros folder and the macro inside it. Now, here we have an example of a common workflow that we have a classroom and a maximum number of students. Now, let's say we want to distribute 150 students inside those classrooms sequentially until I have no more students left. Here I can see that I can allocate the students inside each classroom and when I reach the maximum number or the 150, I will have some few empty spaces in the last one. I can also check the leftovers, so in case my number exceeds the amount of space I have, I'll have some leftovers here. So let me just change this for, I don't know, 200. Here I'll have some leftovers and all of the classes will be full. Now let's say I have the exact same problem. I have a meeting room and I have a maximum number of attendants. I want to fill up the meeting room sequentially until all of my attendants have at least a room. I want to make the exact same thing I did up here, but instead of just copying and pasting this, I can use a macro. How can I create a macro? I can come here, copy everything, create a new workflow and paste it. I right click the inputs and outputs and change them to macro input and macro output. Then, inside my outputs, I'll name them and add an abbreviation. This will make it easier to find the results at the end. So here are the results, output. Here are my leftovers. I'll just call this L. And in the input, data input, Y. If I click here in the edit data, you'll see that I have the exact same data as my example, because I just copied and pasted. Here I'll enable show field map because I want to change the columns. Here I have a column named classroom and maximum. And here I have a column named meeting room and maximum attendance. If I had more columns or more information, I want to let the user select the column he wants to use. So back here to the macro, I want to also configure and let the user type in the number of people that need to be distributed inside the meeting rooms or the classrooms or whatever he needs to do. I can come here in interface, get a numeric up and down and connect it to the formula that just adds the column of the number. In the action here, I'll select to update the value and here I'll type enter the number of people. I'll just add up here and it's ok. If I try to save this, you see that Altrix goes to my macros folder. So let's just test macro and then if I come back here, I already have a macro here, let me just erase this one. I can right click, insert, macro and select test macro or I can come here to the last tab and drop it down then after I connect everything, I have to 
select the fields because I selected and enabled the show field map. Here I'll select meeting room, here I'll select maximum attendance. You can see that it's typed classroom up here. I can come back here to the macro, edit the data and change here to room. Save it, come back here and every time that update our macro inside the workflow and go back to the original one, you get this window here. Just click OK and you can see now that the name here changed but I lost the information. So I'll just type it in again. I'll add some people here and run. As you can see, the people here were allocated and I have no leftovers. If I add up to this number, run again, people were allocated and I still don't have any leftovers and I can do this over and over. Now, inside Alteryx, there are also some tools that use macros. So for example, if I come here and get the random percent sample, I can right click on it and open macro and I can see what's behind the tool. It's just a macro here. So that's it for macros in Alteryx Designer. Thank you for watching and have a great day. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.